Okay, everybody, looks like we are ready for some maximum pain. I mean max pain from Tokal only, so take it away! So we live ready up and running? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Okay, I'll just start. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Pretty perfect start. Well, so yeah, this is uh, Max Payne from the Game Boy Advance, a game no one knows, um, including me, playing this for the first time. <laughs> Welcome to my casual playthrough. Um, so yeah, I'm Token Only One. With me are two people who know very little about this game, but I'm glad they joined anyways. Um, Happy Dude Guy and Sphere MJ. I was the rule to introduce you, I hope that's, that's okay. Please don't bully me. <laughs> um, so yeah, this game is basically the uh, PC port, Max Payne PC port. Um, they kind of ported to the GBA, they cut out a few levels, but um, the I think the 12 out of 15 levels they carried over. Um, they really paid attention to detail, if you compare those two levels. and. I think the first and probably biggest difference you'll notice is the isometric view um, onto this game. And the controls, the default controls are kind of weird, which probably Sphere um, <laughs> will, will I sign. I think kind of yes. weird is an understatement. <laughs> A bit weird? Only took me like five years <laughs> to get, <laughs> get accustomed to it. Um, so. What do you have to <laughs> say about this game? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that was the first level. It's gonna go into the subway now. Yeah, and there's actually a new skip we found um, this year or last year, I'm not sure anymore. But it's 100% consistent, so <laughs> I'll just go for it. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a clip that you can do in this game. Or, well, you can't really do it, but uh, sometimes it just happens. It has happened like... Uh, Five times out of 1,000 tries or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Basically, so you run very into the door and you hope you get through. It's in this room, actually. Which actually saves 30 seconds. Has never been done in a and run. Failed. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Would have been we had uh, so much pretty hope. good. Okay, guys. In this case, we can also talk about why this game is trash. And so am I. <laughs> um, yeah, so the basic controls of this game, as it's, well, I mean it's GBA, so it's kind of a 2D game, but with the isometric aspect, it's kind of ported to 3D, which is why they, um, like, to make this, make this game playable, they need some, some assistance by, um, by auto-aiming, which is a feature, <laughs> which <laughs> works sometimes, <laughs> but not really. I mean, honestly, also, uh, look out for the store. Great door entrance works <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> um, so without uh, the auto-aim, this game would be actually unplayable. Luckily... With the auto-aim, <laughs> the game is also <laughs> unplayable. <laughs> but slightly less, <laughs> so it's okay. Um, so, it would have uh, skipped all of this, basically. It was like 30 seconds, just to point that out again. But it never works, so whatever. Let also me know no when I can read donations, by the way. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I guess we can go for it. Right now? Yeah, sure. Okay, we got ten dollars from Robbie XD. He just what says <laughs> Kappa. And Robbie ten dollars from One Stay. I love you, Toka. <laughs> Greetings from Tech. I love me too. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So yeah, now um, I guess it's time to talk about the weapons for a bit, as they're. Um, like they basically ported uh, like most of the weapons uh, from the normal Max Payne game to this one. However, for the run, there are only um, a handful of useful ones. Um, so you start with the M9, which is uh, one of the weakest weapons, really. Um, you quickly change to the to the shotgun. Um, you then like uh, the shotgun is really powerful, as in the first few levels the enemies are weak enough to, to kind of one-shot all of them. Um, and after using the M4 for a bit, which is kind of re the replacement if you have nothing else really. Um, here we got the sort of, which is basically the usual shotgun but with uh, I think like 1.5 uh, damage multiplier. 
which as you see one shots every guy um in the like first seven levels basically out of 12. so i guess it's a bit op but i'm the last one to complain this uh, was an example of auto aiming as i this was not an example of auto aiming. <laughs> that was, that was get bad gameplay <laughs> But before that, um, I actually, um, I just hold, uh, I, I actually held A. And with the enemies coming in, um, Max changed his aim or his, yeah, his, yes, his aim automatically. Um, so it makes it kind of easy. Because actually aiming is, is quite finicky in this. As you only have eight directions and if an enemy is not in any, like directly in any of the eight directions, it can be really awkward to try to aim. So yeah, this was level 3 out of 12. Kinda going by fast. How do you like it so far, Sphere? <laughs> <laughs> was amazing. Thanks. <laughs> uh, <I'm> not wrong. <laughs> yeah, there's also a mechanic where he kinda uses slow-mo. And uh, that allows Max Payne yep. to survive shots, usually. So he, you end up using it a lot to get through the rough fights. Otherwise, the enemies would absolutely destroy you. Yeah, exactly. So you have to um, distinguish two ca cases here with the slow-mo, or the bullet time as it's referred to and probably um, commonly known as. Take the pink real quick. Um, so if you stand still and press the R button, you'll get into the go into the bullet time mode where you basically, like you're not literally invincible, but the enemies have really low chance of hitting you. Um, however, if you press slow-mo while you're running, Max will do a slow-mo dive, which is really slow because you can't cancel that one. And it takes a few seconds to to uh, oh, nice menu, to kind of uh, go off. So you really want to avoid it and you want to make sure that you're standing still if you really have to use slow-mo. Um, unless the time you, ta you, um, you take to kill the enemies is the same as, um, yeah, as the, um, the um, slow-mo jump itself takes. Because then you can, by jumping, you can cover some extra distance. So it really depends on which enemies you're killing. But uh, the general general rule of thumb is that you should um, should not uh, 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 bullet time dive, except in this level. <laughs> well, yeah, like in a bit. Yeah, there's one exception to it. Also, <laughs> this is select. Okay, it's kind of weird. On the, on the GBI, select is in a different button on the GameCube controller than on the um, actual Game Boy Player. Let me know when I can read some donations. Never. Yeah, sure, we can go for it. <laughs> oh, okay, we got a uh, $15 from RDG. RDJ, my bad. Uh, waiting for someone to pay up so we can make a cool meme. Money incentive goes to whoever realizes what the total is first. I call 42, by the way. And we have $5 from 7 Eraser 7. <laughs> hey, guys. Toka. <laughs> I hope you were able to eat some strawberries before the <laughs> Rien. Don't forget to shoot the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Great inside jokes, no one understands. <laughs> Thanks, Eraser. <laughs> I forgot to pick up one shotgun ammo, it's kind of bad. Uh, I guess I have to restock my next room. There's one on the ground here. Uh, what was I talking about last? <laughs> oh yeah, the the stairs in the last in the last room. So he saw me slow mo uh, jumping off that because there's a quite weird mechanic in this game. If the uh, slow mo jump stops after like one or two seconds, um, but you're still in the air and jumping, you get this kind of boosted jump as you saw, so you can use that to die. <laughs> You have six painkillers, dude. <laughs> Strip. Rip my life. Wait, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is very relevant for the speedrun. Yeah, it's kind of... Um, in marathon runs, you kind of have to um, play all the instruments you can in this game. I don't know who did that first, but I do. It's me. It was me. <laughs> For some reason. 
that strat was found like three hours ago, by the way. Yeah, I didn't know before that you can play well, those did drums. You I knew that. How did you not know that? How did you know that? You never played this game. I've like seen you do it. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> really? Don't remember that. Okay, so here I can go all out on the ammo, because after this level the game, because uh, of the story, takes away all, all our weapons. Well, weapons and ammo, obviously. So here uh, we kind of got trapped and get the, the baseball bat. And here's a route that was newly discovered at the end of last year. Um, so that, that the way kind of splits up into left and right. And the left one is 15 seconds faster. But we used to go the right way for like a year or something. For <laughs> like no reason. Yeah, also that. For a year and for no reason. <laughs> Great speed run. Uh, by the way, thank you, Will1988, for the subscription with Twitch, Twitch Prime. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> what did I change to M4? I think this game is hacking. Okay, so there's a PAL exclusive. I don't know if. Oh, wait. I don't know if it, it, that's a glitch or not. But this only happens on the PAL version, so the game took away our weapons, but in the next level we get all of them back, but only in the PAL version. In the NTC one you still have, like, nothing. <laughs> but luckily here, as we get all our weapons, we most importantly get the sword off, um, although with, with no ammo, but we can quickly refill it in this level. Also die, because Max decided to auto-aim, that's a very good point, auto-aim a barrel instead of the two enemies right in front of him. Someone explain that to me. Spoiler, you can't. Uh, yeah. The thing I mentioned before, on the Game of Player you... Um, you um, use painkillers on Y, but here it's... weapon change? So I'm a bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> this was piano stress. <laughs> Actually, didn't shoot it. Yeah, that was honestly the one and only goal I had for this run to not shoot the piano, just like I did last year. Because I pressed B twice, so I kind of mounted and unmounted, and uh, instead of interacting with that, uh, interacting with it, I shot it. That was a really sad, um, sad day for my life in general. <laughs> interesting, I like when Max uh, misses enemies for no reason. It's also an interesting mechanic. The worse your health... Oh, come on. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy. You can't win. Um... Not sure what I want to talk about, but I guess we can... The worse your health, you started with. The oh worse yeah, 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 the worse your health, good point. Um, the higher the chance of missing missing shots. Don't know who thought of that, but from uh, years of playing, <laughs> I'm quite certain <laughs> that's a thing. So that's very cool. You just die because the game decided you did not hit the enemy right in front of you with a shotgun. You missed. <laughs> okay, so this level is probably one of the most execution heavy, so I'll try to focus for a bit at least. Um, you already saw those kind of mines on the wall there. And you already saw me jump through, um, jump or walk through the first of them. And actually, those mines give you a boost. If you're. Um, well, if you're kind of close to them, the explosion will boost you, and this is quite useful in the second to the next room. Okay. Okay, one. That's good. I felt that in practice like three times, but it's easy. <sighs> that's bad. Short, long. I have no idea how this goes. <laughs> okay, made it. <laughs> uh. So, um, 
obviously you'll get a lot of damage um, if you do those damage boosts and for those three mines in a row if you're too close to the explosion um, you will obviously die so it's it's quite precise the starting position um, and if you're too far away you'll kind of boost diagonally and not make it through it's a really weird concept I don't know so yeah, I guess it lost like 15 seconds or something can still world record <laughs> except it can't okay I guess you also notice we will pick up a lot of Ingram ammo um, yet I didn't mention the Gruul Ingram. The Gruul Ingram is the best weapon um, as it has the highest fire rate and that's also a drawback, a drawback because you need a lot of you have to collect a lot of ammo in the first place to be able to use it constantly and as you see the sort of is still one hit and we're in level 8 so the dual Ingram really is only uh, feasible in the last um, yeah, last three levels I would say and that's what we save, uh, save, up all, save up all the ammo for. In the PAL version, the ammo for Ingram caps at 215, and you see it caps at 300, because that makes a lot of sense. Okay. And because of that, because we really want the Ingram for the last levels, as by then even the, um, the shotgun, like the sort of, will be a two hit. Um, so that's what we why we want to save up the Ingram ammo for the end. We'll use a lot of that um, just because the last level is like you know, three and a half minutes long and it's packed with enemies. So that's what we're collecting for. Not annoying sound. <laughs> dot mp3. Oh yeah, it's also quite funny, sometimes the game, I don't know if it's the game or my controller, but it doesn't matter, because something decides to not let me slow-mo, although I press the button, the right shoulder button, but it's whatever. I guess that's one good thing about this game, for every level you have four tries or four lives, as the game uh, references it to. And if you die, you go back to the start of the room you just came in. So you don't have to restart the level if you die, the whole level, but only the room. So that's that's very quick, obviously. And only if you're out of all the four lives the game gives you, then you have to... Damage boost? No? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I jump diagonally? <laughs> that's how this goes. They really clearly saw, clearly saw the boost. So this is the one pause in this run, the one 20 second pause. You can just lean back and enjoy this epic cutscene. Everything explodes. Oh my god. Fantastic. <laughs> Pretty badass. <laughs> yes. So cinematic. Alright, so for reference this is level 10 out of 12. This is a very short level and the last one also is. But level 11 is with three and a half minutes. Uh, if done uh, properly. Of done quickly, I guess. Um, the the longest one of this whole run. I actually use painkillers, Robbie. Are you happy, by the way? Yeah. Because <laughs> you really don't want to go higher than eight painkillers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I guess I should mention the game caps you at eight painkillers. I think it also does this in the PC game. Go kind of safe here. Um, however, if you go. Um, past eight painkillers by hacking the game. Um, very interesting things can happen. <laughs> up to textures completely glitching up and the game crashing. It's great. Just because of one painkiller value. <laughs> what did they do? Unsolved mysteries. Okay, so here we already have enough uh, Ingram ammo for the... well not for the whole rest of the game but we can use it here. So these 
Um, these enemies all have Dual Ingram. And... I mean, I said Dual Ingram is the strongest weapon of the game, and that's true, but if the enemies have it, obviously, uh, it's really something you want to, well, at least be, be careful about. So those are the enemies you really want to um, want to use slow more on, like if if any. So the chase for Mona Sex begins. Oh, there she is. Hi. <laughs> I mean, that was easy. So as I said before, ammo-wise, like this is this level as it's the longest one. It's really where where this uh, ammo thing strikes. As we only use dual ingram for the last half, two thirds of it, kind of, I'm not sure. And for the rest, we use M4S. The enemies are strong enough, or so strong, that we have to slow mo jump anyways to, to also cover some distance and also die, but that's a, that's a side note. <laughs> um, slow mo jump to also cover some distance. Um, so that really doesn't matter which weapon you use. The difference is way bigger for the enemies in the end. Yeah, so the guy sees the first mine exploding, but he just stands there. He doesn't dodge or anything, that's why he dies. <laughs> it's great, great uh, AI design. Shoutouts to platforming in an isometric game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not sure what they thought here, <laughs> or if they thought at all. But now I have to deal with that. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Sad. <laughs> Painfully Didn't sad? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who is this host, by the way? <laughs> Who let that guy in? Okay, <laughs> more Ingram. So that second guy down there um, can be a big troll. He wasn't, but sometimes he goes around that whole uh, thing in the middle and you have to wait for him to come out on the other side to shoot him. Which is great RNG time loss. I'm gonna go kinda safe here. Because these guys have shotguns. And take like... I don't know, 10 Ingram shots to die, which is quite a lot. Okay, we might made it. So this um, this was level 11. Upcoming is the finale. Really long and epic level. It takes like 30 seconds. <laughs> so get hyped for that. <laughs> that opens the last interesting chapter of this game, which are grenade throws. Which really only is a thing in PAL, it's, as, as you can kind of guess, insanely precise. If you're, uh, if, well that was one too much, if you're <laughs> too close if you're too close to the wall, um, you won't hit these, I don't know, kind of beams or whatever you have to hit there. Um, but you'll hit yourself, also I can't count. <laughs> Here. Also time's coming up, time. Good enough. <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, these grenades are really finicky. Um, as I said, if you're too close to the wall, um, um, it will just explode on the wall, but you'll also get damage. If you're too far away, you throw over. Um, that's PAL only. In NTC, you can literally hack the wall and throw the grenades. and It, it flies at a, as a, as a way steeper angle and hits every time. That's the one advantage of NTSC. Alongside the 20 disadvantages, like <laughs> enemies being able to shoot over tables and boxes, but you're not. So they c they can snipe you over it, 
but you just stand there and you die. <laughs> it's a great video game. Also, there are some other changes. I guess you could have mentioned that. Um, like, there are some skips which are not possible. Um, for example, if you maybe remember, there was in level 8 one jump over the lava pit. Um, that's not possible in NTC because they put a fence there. But only in NTC. <laughs> I've, there's no rational explanation for it. Other than it was one hell of a ride. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is great. So, um, also I played the game in German as the last... Um, I guess I'll skip that. Yeah, the last text says, Sehr gut, Sie haben Max Payne Advance, which literally tra translates to, uh, very good, you have Max Payne Advance. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to say it's thank you. true, you have thank Max Payne Advance. I do <laughs> literally have it, so <laughs> it's really appreciated. Thank you a lot. <laughs> GG. Yeah. GG, dude. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>